Welcome, welcome back, back to a brand new episode of Project Analysis Series. I have Alex here together with me today again. Today we will be touching on this project that has just been launched. It's called Langtor Mansions. Okay, today's uh, episode is a bit more um, unique in a way. We will not be diving into a lot of like project info. We also will not be diving into a lot of like specific layout as to what to choose. But basically, we will be diving into more um, about how harmonization, the new harmonization ruling, has an uh, impact on Langtor Mansion and the project moving forward. Alright? Okay, so I think by now, all of you who have been looking for Langtor Mansion, you all should have seen the prices, the starting from price, like a two bedroom, 1.1 plus million, which is wow. Comparing to the rest of the project is so low. But you can also see that the size is extremely small. So the smallest starting from five to seven. So it's because it's affected by the harmonization. So today we are going to go very, very in depth uh, in terms of uh, not explaining the harmonization because I think these are the things that you can read online, but more of like going through the floor plans between all the different uh, projects that is in the surrounding to show you how does harmonization affect your built-in area. So uh, in fact, uh, some of the places are not really affected. So later we are going to show you all the bedroom size, the living room size, all these things. So today episode is really going to be very, very important because this is going to affect you moving forward. Why do I say that? Because there's two types of projects that is coming uh, uh, in the market next time. One is the harmonization one. The other type is the standard one, which is, you know, all those M block one. So M block one will still be following the old rulings, which means next time you need to decide between these two and there will be chances that you appear side by side. Then you need to decide what are the uh, pros and cons between all these, right? So today episode will cover all these things to help you decide uh, all this uh, uh, decision, uh, make a better decision future uh, on all other developments that's coming up. Okay. So Alex, what you're saying is that only the government land sale uh, lands mm. will be affected by this harmonization ruling. Yes, correct. So, uh, in fact, uh, if you look at during the last few years launch, we have a lot of M block, mm. correct? I'll give you one example like Affinity Serangoon is an M block. Mm. Okay, Garden Residence is a GRS. Okay. So, mm. what's the difference between GRS and M block? Uh, the main difference is M block, they use a very old way of building, which means that the wall can be hacked. Later, we are going to show you the wall is thinner. Mm. The GLS are using the PVVC, which sometimes we can see uh, at night. Uh, if you drive on the road, sometimes you can see lorry uh, driving like a oh toilet right. or a room. I think we have actually uh, covered this in mm. our previous mm. review for the Langtoria, mm. right? So if you guys want to um, actually refer back to that, I will put the link on the top right hand corner mm. of this video where you can have a clearer look. Mm. So I think later uh, Alex will also be going through, you know, exactly what we mean by, you know, given the same size, why some rooms will look bigger mm. due to the non PPVC kind of uh, layout. All right. All right. Uh, coming back to the, the, the differences, right? There will be a difference between because there's new rulings that's adding on to the harmonization. Mm. But all the old M block land, which is uh, bought way before they just M block the land, uh, they are not affected by this all this change of ruling. So they can still build condos as per maybe 10, 20, 30 the years. Old, the olden ways. Yes. Okay. Correct. So it's going to be very different. Uh, so you wow. need to understand. So right now, what you're seeing is, of course, you know, the Langtor area, but of course, we're not going to dive in that because we did it very detailed in the previous Langtoria. I'm going to just deep dive into this um, Langtor mansions, um, this particular area over here because on this project. So a few things to take note about this project is that in terms of the density, okay, in terms of the land space, you can see that the land is actually the biggest amongst all the other projects in the uh, Langtor Hill Estate right now. And in terms of density, Langtor Mansion actually have the same kind of density as Langtoria. The other projects like Langtor Modern, Langtor Hill Residences and also Hewlock Green, most of it are, or rather I would say, more crowds over there. Okay, and one thing about this uh, Langtor mansion is that they do have five bedroom. Mm. So currently, Alex, this is the only project, right, in the market that have got five bedroom in the Langtor area. Yes, I noticed that the price of this five bedder might be very close to the landed nearby. Do you have any take on that? Like, I mean, as an individual, would you actually prefer to buy? landed over this five bedroom okay given to me i will definitely buy a landed but i have met families who prefer a bigger condo than landed why mm. because maybe got um, uh, parents 
uh, grandparents staying with mm. them, cannot climb the stairs. If you need leave, you need all the new renovation, it will not cost this amount of money. It will be close to That's $5 true. million dollars really. Mm. So uh, it really depends on individual needs. Uh, recently, I met one uh, client who is uh, uh, looking for a five bedroom in Lantau Mansion. Why? Because this is the only place in this region that the parents, the kids and the grandparents stay together. So, so it's a multi-generation kind of yes. family. So oh, this is the only okay. chance they can get something here brand new at, at this range. Mm. Uh, if you want landed this range, I can tell you 3 million, you need a lot of renovation. Mm. So some people don't want But this one you get All nicely done la. I mean some people Will prefer this la. And I think maintenance wise Because for me right I also prefer um, Condo over landed Mainly because In terms of maintenance I don't have to Spend a lot I don't have to Own self go and maintain mm. You know The facade and everything I have got a proper uh, Management office To help me do that So um, Coming back to your question I think there is Still a group of people That will want this uh, But I would say Put it simple Maybe a higher percentage Will want landed If they got this budget a higher percentage uh, mm. but key thing when we buy property is two things demand and supply, supply. so yep. the demand might not be the highest but the supply is very low Super limited. in this area yeah. for five bedroom yeah so that's that's the thing that we can rely on mm. Mm. so let's take a look at the um supply or rather the project info first uh, for the project info, I think we have pretty much covered everything. We'll go to the site plan and also distribution. I knew that you just came from um, the show flat, right? What mm. was the first um, feeling that you had? When, when you I first walk in, it's like, I think this project win really. Lah. So Guaco always have a very, very good way of building nice show flat and mm. nice development. Uh, okay, question I have mm. Because, you know, um, there are some projects that Guaco have, right? Mm. They were usually named it as like something mentions Like for example Something uh, modern uh. So Modern like, or mentions? Uh, Midtown modern, Lantau modern Oh, those are the more Martin premium la, Like the high-end one, right? So you are saying the mention or high-end? No, high, mention is still high-end But is there a different category of how the naming no, is no, like? No, 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 no. no. So Lantau okay. modern is also in Lantau eh? Okay. So there's no differentiation. It's just that when you see modern, it's most likely something by Guaco. La. But you can see Guaco have a very unique style of building. Uh, usually more towards the darker tone. Lantau Mansion, Lantau Modern, Midtown Modern are all on the darker tone. Mm. Mm, so it's more towards the new gen of building, you know? Modern, uh, modern, modern building, yeah. uh, something like that. Mm. And for the, uh, in terms of the unit mix, right, okay, mm. as you can see just now over um, what you see in the site plan, even though everything is pretty flat, but when you look at the actual distribution chart, right, um, there are also tall and short mm. blocks, which mm. is actually pretty common, right? I mean, even in Lantoria or the other projects in the area, it's all like that. Mm, uh, Lantoria and uh, Lantor mansion is like mm. that, tall and short, because I think it's 2.1, their plot ratio. The rest is uh, all higher blocks, one. like example, uh, Lantor, Hill and Hillock Green is on the higher basis. La. But Lantora and Lantor Mansion is very similar in terms of the height of the building itself. La. But uh, I mean, to be very honest, when I walk into Lantor Mansion, I'm impressed. Also, That's the only yeah. thing I can see. Yeah, it's, it's really very different. But in terms of the unit mix mm. here, mm. over here, the two bedroom itself right, is actually 214 units. Mm. So the previous time we reviewed Lantoria, right, do you recall that two bedroom actually makes up most of the unit types in other projects as well? Mm. Right? Do you see any issue again, you know, when it comes to disposal of the units? Definitely think that if you got too much supply, it's going to be an issue. But bear in mind, in Lantor Mansion, we are unique. Why we are unique? Because we are smaller in terms of size and Later we will explain now, you may not be smaller in the built-in area. Mm. Uh, so, so we are unique because our purchase price in terms of quantum is much lower comparing to all the surroundings. So you have this advantage over them, la, but it can come as a disadvantage also. Later we are going to run through all these things. And how are we going to overcome all these issues? Because this is something that is so important because uh, when you buy a harmonization project, uh, uh, these are uh, problems and the, uh, the solutions that you encounter and why we, we want to do this so much because all the other projects that's coming up there's a lot that is also harmonization Lantor mm. Central also beside them Pine Tree Grand, also Pine Tree also mm. Clementi also Toapayo also uh, so there's so many new land uh, even Champion Road also uh, Woodlands so all this will be harmonization but those like Chuang Park 
like Sora, all these are end block, so that mm. they are all the old rulings. Wow. But the harmonization will have a lot. So you need to really understand this uh, when if you are looking to buy a property this year. Okay. I think the key issue is that when the moment, like what you mentioned earlier, the moment you saw Langtong Mansion size, right? When it's the two bedder, the two bedder starts from 527 square feet, I think. Mm. Yeah. The moment you saw the size, like, huh? This is like a one plus study or one bedroom uh, size equivalent in the area. Mm. So instantly people will think that this one is very small. So this is some uh, potential problems if you are a buyer today and in future you want to try to dispose it, right? This is the potential problem that you will face. Mm. So this is what Alex meant that we'll be addressing it later. But I think first thing first, right? Um, we need to understand what is harmonizing first because I do realize that um, a lot of people are still you know a bit confused by what this thing is about so in order to understand what is harmonization okay Alex let me ask you do you know what GFA mean mm, yeah gloss for area okay, yeah. gloss for area do you know exactly how to you know calculate this gloss for area not very sure you want to show <laughs> basically <laughs> for the length size right times the plot ratio so, um, so if you notice some uh, in certain area, right, even in Langtor itself, right, mm. some building will be a bit higher, some building will be a bit lower because of the certain plot ratio. So, mm. when you get the land size and the plot ratio, this will give you your total GFA. Mm. For example, let's take a uh, hundred thousand square meter. Mm. Okay. So back then, okay, last time or rather um, in the past few years, when developer built aircon ledge. Mm. For example, they built um, 20,000 square meter worth of aircon latch. Mm. Do you know this aircon latch, this 20,000 is not part of the GFA? Oh, yeah. I, I think I heard something around uh, uh, along this line. Like. Means yeah. that this 20,000 they can exclude from this GFA. Like. Correct. And mm. But the thing is that even though it's not part of the GFA, but developer can sell it to you. And okay. so that I found this very interesting part, which is that in the past, this is the 2017 article because mm. it has been quite some time since, you know, there's a data like that surface. But in all in all, right, on average, every year, people pay 780 million for aircon latches. Okay. So it's a huge amount, right? Mm. Yeah. So right now, what the new ruling is going to do, basically, this aircon latch area is going to be part of this 100,000 uh, square meter GFA. Yes. Oh, this means right, only 80,000 square meter developer will be left, you know, to build units. In a way, yes, but not 100% true. Because why, why I say that? Uh, so it's including the 100,000, this is the correct thing. But mm. because of this, now the developer is definitely going to reduce this to 10,000. So you will come to see now a uh, much smaller aircon ledge. Um, okay, un understandable uh, because there, I think there was a time where people were actually chilling out in yes. the aircon ledge area, mm. right? People were like sitting there because the aircon ledge space is so mm. big. Mm. Yeah, so moving forward, this will be the case, and this uh, aircon ledge area, right, will also not be part of the area that you'll be paying for. Yes, correct. So, mm. so I mean, if developer can't sell it, they will definitely make it smaller, lah, which means. Now we are going to see what is going to change because these are all uh, explanation on the new harmonization. But mm. how is it really going to affect you in terms of the project itself? This is the most important because this is something that it, you can relate to. Because uh, I mean, all these things are uh, very, very, very layman, numbers, la, right? Are layman, yeah. Uh, so, this mm. uh, this is also why um mm. we are going to go through mm. the different unit type. Mm. We actually break it down to two bedroom, three bedroom, to five bedroom onwards to show you right. Um, with a smaller square feet per unit that Langdon mentions have, is it really that we are being you know short change the space? Mm. So I think Alex is going to go through the first part, which is the layout comparison yeah. between Langtor Mansion and also the other project in the surrounding. Okay, so I think we are blocking some of the things, but no issues. Uh, we will, I will do my best. Huh? Okay, so we can see from here, this is... I'm going to compare all the Langtor projects around. Okay, uh, now I'm going to take Langtor Mansion to compare Langtor and Langtor Modern first. Later, we are going to move to, to the other two projects. Huh? So in, in, in this scenario, I'm taking a 657 square feet for land door mansion, which is the 2 plus 2 toilets, okay? Uh, comparing to the uh, land door here, it's a 700 square feet unit uh, here, 700 square feet. And land door modern is a 678 square feet, which is a 2 plus 1 toilet, 
Okay. Uh, so what is the key differences? Uh, in terms of the layout, I would say um, there are some differences, but they are still quite similar uh, in terms of the, the, the things that can be utilized. Uh. But what is the main thing that I want to go through here? So you can see uh, what we did is we actually add in all the size. Uh, but I just go mm. through with you some of the, the, the unique points. Uh. You can see from here, uh, the bedroom for Lantor Mansion is 8.7 square meter. Okay. Yeah, 8.7. Uh. Uh, yep. If you can't see, I write it bigger. Uh. Second, for the bedroom of Lantoria, we take the second mm. bedroom, 8.5 square meter. Yep. Uh, so very clearly, uh, it's already one thing. Lantoria bedroom is smaller than Lantor Mansion, even though Lantor Mansion might be a smaller unit. Correct. Okay. But you did mention that something mm. that's got to do with the wall, right? And because yeah. you look at the thickness of the wall. Yeah. Correct. So this one we will explain a bit later. Uh. Then next one is uh, Lantor Modern is 8.8 .8 square meter. So which means that Lantor Modern and Lantor Mansion, even though Lantor Modern is uh, 678 square feet and 678, they only have one toilet. Uh. So which means that, uh, uh, put it simple, is that they, that, that they should have more space in other area. But not really, not really in a way that they are much way bigger than Lantor Mansion. Okay. Second area I want to compare is the living room area. Lantor Mansion twenty nine square meter. Okay. Mm. Um, Lantoria six twenty six point seven. Okay. Wow. But you and see, ah, uh, Lantor Modern is twenty two point seven. So where is the space? Y'all get what I'm trying to say So you, you are not shortchanged at all In terms of the space that they are living in For Lantor Mansion This is what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, you You have a bigger living Than the other two Which is in the floor plan itself uh, In the size itself I uh, look bigger than you uh, So hmm. where exactly did the space go? So where exactly did the space go? Uh, let me show you from here You can see uh, This is 657 square feet uh, 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 You can see uh, 657 uh, 657 but you can see this is the aircon latch it's non strata which means that it's not included inside okay so aircon latch nothing all the rest of the uh, space are not there but you can see from here for Lantoria 2.9 square meter this is what aircon latch. latch so i have to mm. take out 65 square meter minus 2.9 why is it 61.9 uh? because actually 65 is not 100% accurate, it's 64.8 square meter like, in terms of the space itself. Uh. So, to really see, uh, without icon latch, the build-up space is 666 square feet, which is the same as Lantor Mansion. Yeah, very similar. Okay, then mm. if we take the Lantor Modern 2 Flexi, which is a 2-1 toilet, the actual size is 645 Actually, it's smaller, feet. smaller than Lantor Mansion. Smaller than Lantor Mansion. And only one toilet. Ah. Mm. So, uh, th these are the things that we want to go through, but if you really want to understand more, uh, looking at all these data, all these things, it's still good for you to go down to the show flat to feel. Uh, when you feel the space is bigger, the space is bigger. I, 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 I mean, we cannot avoid this fact that when we see that it's definitely going to be that that is the size that we are getting. I mean, the feeling is the most important. I yeah. think what you're right about, you know, going down to show flat because um, previously, you know, we can only speculate that um, Langton Mansions will be launched cheaper mm. or more expensive based on the land price, right? But right now, it's good that all the show flats are up and subsequently, there will be even more show flats. So, buyers currently can actually go to every single show flat to actually compare the yeah. size to have a feel of the actual unit. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a plus point. Mm. But I mean, some of the show flat, they will have like very good ID to make the unit look bigger, mm. things like that. These are the things. That's why we want to do all the numbers first. At before home. Before going down. Before so we go, go down. down. Okay. So next, uh, we are going to see Lentor Mansion versus Hillock Green and uh, Lentor, Lentor Hill. Hill. Mm. So we are just going to go through uh, the, the size itself. This is 657 square feet, like, like what we mentioned. This one after minus uh, is 616 only. This one toilet. Uh, uh, but uh, the one toilet now, uh, I think it's starting from about 1.4 over million. Okay? Uh, the one toilet in mansion uh, starting from 1.15 million. So you see the difference. But of course, maybe slightly smaller there about. Uh, so you need to calculate your space that is usable. Okay? Mm. So the, I think the smallest for Lantor Mansion is 527, which is about 80 square feet different from this. You cannot take this as a, as a calculation uh, because mm. the usable space is like that. Okay? Next, uh, uh, for 2 bed, 2 bath in Lantor mm -hmm. Hill is 646, which is smaller so than smaller, Lantor yeah. Mansion. Uh, and what price are they transacting? Okay, so now, next. Now look at the prices. This is 657 square feet. Uh, dumbbell layout, I think 
very very spacious living room you can see the kitchen is also quite wide uh, we are not going in depth uh, uh, but for Lentoria the asking price why we put asking yeah. price because, because it's, it's launched, launched last week mm. the price are not caveat yet are not in in the data yet we use asking uh, it's from 1.49 to 1.689 for this wow. particular 1.689 uh. is our starting price for Lentor Mansions Three oh really? I mean around 1.7 uh, Yeah, about yeah, that. So yeah. you just talk about a little bit. Hmm. So this is a 700 square feet unit. We are taking all the 700 square feet prices. Lentor Modern done transaction. Two bed. This is one toilet, remember? Wow. 1.35 to 1.67 million dollars. This is all done already. Hewlock Green, two bed, one bath. We are all taking these are two one bath, I remember. Must must remember these are one bath. Oh, 1.37 to 1.49 million. Okay. That is like a 200,000 kind of, you know, safety margin. I mean, based on the starting if price. You based on one bar to one bar. Yeah. Bar, but of course, the one bar might be a bit smaller. So you need to take all this consideration. So actually, mm. Langtor mentions, I mean, after, after that, you look mm. at Langtor Hill Residences, mm. right? Mm. Um, it's also around the range of uh, 1.36 to 1.52. Mm. So actually, you can see Langtor mentions two bedroom price is super attractive. Uh, we do not know 100% on the two bar yet. That's why we are going to do a, a, a price range that you can go for. Okay, so because what we have uh, got now is all the one bar price, mm. which is uh, starting from 1.149 million. Mm. So it's all one bar prices. But two bar is how much we, we are not confirmed yet. That's why, why we are doing this video is to also let you understand about what price is definitely a must buy, must buy. If what price is can buy, if what price is don't buy, uh, something like that. Oh. Mm. Uh, but overall, main thing PSF for Lantor mentioned will definitely be about 10 to 15 percent higher. Yeah, oh. it's around the range of like 2002, 2003, yes. right? Uh, yeah. So it will be slightly higher mm. than um, the rest of the project nearby. Mm. Mm. So PSF wise is higher, but quantum wise, it might. Mm. more attractive okay. so in a way um, we have always been comparing based on PSF and now the issue is moving forward mm. right even if we were to sell in the future mm. our future buyer will also look at this uh, mm. uni and say that oh this PSF is much higher mm. and it's smaller so stay tuned to the you know end of this video where we're going to sh also share with you guys the solution to tackling this problem mm. okay yeah the last part we are going to share with you some of the problems and solutions all these things but now we are going to uh, dive very in-depth into all these things uh. so uh, what price do you think we can buy so looking looking at all the prices uh, uh, we got a lot of buffer yeah, because two bed one buff two bed one buff is all already done at 1.3 plus million because of the minimum size they have to mm. commit blah 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 all these things and Lentoria two bed two buff is starting from almost 1.5 million Lentor Hill which is quite a good buy the two buff is from 1.36 to 1.52 I think the bigger two buff have done 1.7 over million okay bigger uh, two buff which is the 700 plus square feet 700 plus square feet will work out it will be about 690 so it's almost the same as Lentor mentioned what we are getting la. but now the th thing is I personally think if we can see something within 1.3 range this is what I call a must buy because you are very safe you are at the safe safest zone uh, mm. you are even at one bath prices okay one you buy a two bath but you are at two bed two bath but you are at two bed one bath prices so 1.5 will be a uh, mid range 1.4 to 1.5 is a can buy okay la, i mean it's just uh, can buy right uh, yeah. uh, not bad 1.4 plus but it's lower range of 1.4 plus i think you can also seriously mm. consider if your unit uh, reach uh, more than 1.5, uh, um, it's not a uh, very attractive buy anymore. Lah. Put it this way, unless you really like the development, then you can choose it for yourself. Uh, mm. So this is the range that we can go for, price point that we can go for. Two bed, one bath uh, will be a different range that we are going to talk about. Lah. But uh, I think you can also do some uh, calculation based on yourself. Lah. Uh, okay, now we are going into the three bed room. room. So maybe here we'll go a bit faster because we run through. Mah, huh? So three bedroom, you can see Lentor Mansion, 1023 square feet. Lentoria, after cut, everything is 1068. Okay. And Lentor Modern is 1049. So actually, after the, the calculation of cutting all this, uh, hmm. um, all look quite quite same. Yeah, actually, hmm. I think one thing here, even despite the odd hmm. placement of hmm. the toilet over here, hmm. you can see, hmm. 
the toilet over here for the Langtor Mansion. Mm. Uh, frankly, right, the good thing about this Langtor Mansion layout, the moment you enter over here, right, you have a very wide lens of the entire living and dining here, as opposed to when we shared about Langtoria and also Langtor Modern, whereby the walkway is actually very narrow, right? So immediately, I think that will be actually a huge difference in terms of the way you will view the unit itself. Mm. Uh, the key difference is what? The key difference between Lantor Mansion and Lantor Modern is there's a wall here. This one is a dry kitchen. Huh? So the setback about Lantor Mansion, the kitchen, the wet kitchen very small. But it enhanced because there is a big dry kitchen area. So when you walk in, the whole space uh, is like Joy mentioned, uh, is empty. Uh. But of course, Lantoria, this one got a long walkway, but they got a wide frontage living. Uh, so, I mean, they got their own advantage also. Uh, huh? But we are here not to discuss a lot about floor plans. We are here to discuss about the size that you are getting, the place that you are getting. Huh? So now we look at this, uh, Lantor mentioned 1023. Hewlock Green 1023 minus everything uh, is only 965. You're only getting 965. Uh, and if you can go and see Hugh Logreen 965 is really quite decent. Then Lantor Hill, oh, even yeah. the big one, uh, you are getting 1033 square feet. And this one is starting all the way uh, from the launch date is about 2.2, 2.3 million. Uh. Mm. So now we can see uh, the prices. Uh, Lantor Mansion is here. Lantoria is 2.28 to 2.52 million for the 1119 square feet. Okay? Uh, Lantor Modern all the way go up to about 2.6, starting from about 2 million. Again, 2.6 Langtor Modern is close to my 4-bedroom price Yeah For Langtor Mansions Correct, so so it's a very close to a 4-bedroom price yeah. So Hewlock Green is 2 to 2.26 And uh, Langtor Hill is 2.23 to 2.44 mm. million So what price do you think we can go for? So let me guess um, mm. If we were to enter Langtor Mansion below 2.2 It is considered a very decent buy Or even a 2 mil range mm. Right? Anything beyond the 2. Point 3 or 2.4 may not be very safe mm, Yes, but uh, 2.3 to 2.4 will be most likely uh, uh, Also acceptable range, but I would say mm, It's mm. Put it simple uh, Anything that is 2 to 2.1 Can buy Just buy <laughs> <laughs> Not can buy why? Because it's 2,000 per square foot and to 2,050 which is, I don't know whether they will have this price to be very frank if you see this price, just buy Why? Because with the harmonization they should be going at about 2,1 something 2,2 something Okay? And if it's the range of 2.1 to 2.2 this range can consider uh, I think it's not a bad buy Anything that is here this one is Try not to touch already. Uh. I think this is a bit too high range already. Uh. So uh, keep it with below 2.3. Okay, that's the one of the main things that we want to go for. Uh. So this is for the three, three bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. Now we go into the four bedroom. So right now we are going on to the four bedroom comparison. And for this four bedroom comparison, right, we are not going to take into account um, the Langtor Modern because Langtor Modern's four bedroom is actually the equivalent size of a Langtor Mansions. So this is why in terms of comparison, size of a Langtor Mansion five bedroom. Mm. Ah. So this is why we will be taking that out. So Alex, do you want to share a bit here um, for Langtor Mansions versus the other? Yeah. Four bedroom okay. types. So the main thing, the main reason why we are taking out Lantor Modern four bedroom is because all the other projects four bedroom are all at thousand two square feet range, but Lantor Mansion one is at one five something something range. Huh? So the the size is so much more bigger. So we do not want to take that into consideration. That's why we took it out. Like, it's actually here. Like. Okay. So Lantor Mansion one two two seven square feet. Look at the size of the whole area. Now we go into area to area. You look at Lantoria. The actual size they show you is one two o six, but really built-in size is one one four six square feet. So. Where is the difference? You look at the living room, this is 31.8 square meter. Okay? Lantor Modern is 38.8. So, Lantor Mansion, sorry, 38.8. So, you can see there's an equivalent of a 7 square meter difference. Okay? If you are going to purchase these two at a similar price, I think it's definitely going to be Lantor Mansion. Okay? Uh, then the bedroom size is 8.5, 8.5, this is 8.8, 8.8. 
so you can see very clearly that uh, the, where the space goes, like it goes into all this uh, uh, space that we are talking about. Actual mm. living area is actually smaller than Langtong Mansions. La. Yes, correct. But this one comes with a uh, uh, junior master, la, which this one, not really a junior master. They open an opening here, but it's still a common toilet that everybody can use. Langtong Mansions, I realised the four bedroom mm. is a shared balcony between the living and also the first bedroom. So, mm. uh, which. There's plus and minus. Huh? What is the plus and minus? The plus is when you have a balcony in your bedroom, which means your bedroom window can be fully open. Uh, balcony means that I can push all the panel to one side. Mm. Uh, so it will be super windy. Problem with condo today is the window cannot open much. It's always maybe one third only. So the wind maybe cannot come Maybe air is outside. Uh, uh, maybe air conlash is outside. But sometimes, no, sometimes full glass window. Mm. But the setback will be the bed, you cannot push it to the, 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 the side. The la. corner. So you need to have mm. bigger bedroom. Uh, mm. uh, if, that's why they do it 8.8. And one plus point I forget to mention uh, about Lantor Mansion uh, is that, you know, and Lantor Mansion do not have full height window. The highest, the, the, the biggest uh, is about three quarter. I just mm. saw. So which means that your below, uh, your bed can still be on the wall side. Okay. That is not the, the main thing. The main thing is that if you look at all the project, all the project, uh, uh, recent years one, uh, all the full height window, they have a, they have a very big metal piece below on the floor. Uh, you go and see all the project. Uh, apparently, they say that is to hold the thing. La. I get you. Uh, mm. So that panel that protrude out, uh, actually in into your living area so your, your, your bed cannot be pushed to the, to the corner of the unit la. I can push but there will still be there the will still be a there. gap la. so if I, let's say I don't want to push I want to put a side table cannot fit in because that thing is coming out you go and Four see things, the show flat you will things. see so uh, let's say uh, they do uh, 9 square meter uh, uh, room uh, but you might not be getting 9 square meter because of the side they never measure that la. I couldn't measure that la, so I don't know what I'm trying to tell you here is that uh, with Lantor mentioned uh, with all the new rulings uh, is fully utilized all the space in a way even the bedroom everything even though you got three quarter window I think it's fine I think you got all this extra space for you okay no I went to the show flat right this one that we are showing right here is the show flat unique mm. type if I'm not wrong the seating arrangement that they accommodate right is really very long so mm. I think uh, one thing about Lantor mentions I realized that the living area right is more like a rectangular you know, kind of a uh, concept mm. as opposed to the other units out there mm. or th rather the other units in the near area. Mm. Mm. The main key difference uh, now we, we can see uh, the main difference that uh, why I would say Lantor mentioned uh, although the layout is not the most fantastic there's some setback like the kitchen is smaller all these things but let me show you one thing that actually only Lantor mentioned has compared to all other projects uh. Uh, most of the unit, I would say 99%. You see this one, uh, Lantor Hill. That's why I always say uh, this glass panel is important. Uh. Important because it makes you see through, make you feel the space. Ma. Uh, why do I need glass panel? Because my kitchen is protruding out. It eats into my living yeah. area. Mm. So when I first walk in, I will be blocked. I will feel blocked. But you look at Lantor Mansion, the kitchen starts from here. The rest is what So the ki dry for Langton mentioned the kitchen area right, is nicely tucked in one corner. Yes. It doesn't eat into your actual living space. La. Yes. So when you walk in, uh, you will feel eh, even though it's just like that one, uh, long one, uh, you will feel very big. Because there is no things that is obstructing uh, like obstruct your view when you walk in. Mm. So it's a very different feeling. I I, I mean I first time I saw something that is in this way. That's why they can put a long, long ten eight seater dining table here. Because there's no kitchen, ma. Mm. Oh, so so this whole part very long. You remember? You see? Yes. But I here cannot. Here I cannot put. Uh, most of the project all cannot put. But here because they push the kitchen in, so they sacrifice the kitchen a bit. They make the living room a bit bigger. It depends on what you want, la. You see, ah, uh, this third third living room thirty eight point eight, uh, Even Hewlock Green is which is the landscape, landscape. type, uh, It's only thirty seven point three, uh. Why? Because there's all this space that is being eaten up by the kitchen. Ma. Uh, so there's plus and minus. Huh? And this is 34 square meter. La. So you can see uh, it, it's actually quite well utilized. Uh, and uh, Lantor Hill definitely have a good 
uh, four bedroom I, I don't want to deny that because all the bedrooms are coming with 10 square meter I, I visited that I really love Lantau Hill also lah, okay uh, in, in terms of four bedroom but uh, the built-in size this is bigger 1270 but the rest is almost similar so you're buying a 1313 square feet lah, in Hewlock Green lah, uh, same price as uh, Lantau mentioned lah. Uh, if, if almost the same price but same size uh, the size that you are getting huh? so now we go into the price point uh. this one two two seven Lentoria is starting from 2.55 to 2.93 million okay Hulot Green is 2.57 to about 2.82 and Lentor Hill is 2.55 to 2.77 million okay so what I heard Lentor mentioned should be starting from 2.6 plus for mm, all bit right. uh, and I definitely think Guaco got a very good reputation of building uh, big units and making people want to stay there, people want to move into that area. And the last project that we saw, Lantau Modern, is not cheap. Uh. Yes. Oh, the three bedroom it has hit Have about 2.63 million. Uh. Uh, so if you can get anything in Lantau Mansion, four bedroom that is below 2.75, I think it's still a good buy in long run. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't see that you are going to sell your 4 bedroom in a short frame of time la, But you are going to hold anything below 2.75 Will be a safe choice uh, Anything above 2.8 I think is a bit stretch really. I think you, you might have problems selling 2. it 2.8 I think you can easily mm. maybe upgrade a little bit to the 5 bedroom already uh, Yeah, so 2.75 this is the golden number Anything below I think this is the price that you can go for Okay, so 5 bedroom comparison yeah. Now look at this Five bedroom, obviously, just now earlier we said already that um, in the Langtor area as of now, there is no five bedroom supply other than uh, Langtor Mansion. So the only nearest comparison we can take is from Langtor Modern's four bedroom because the size wise is very comparable. Mm. Yeah. So Langtor Mansion five versus Langtor Modern four. This is the compar com uh, comparison that we are going to do. So it's one for one for eight five square feet, lah. 1485 for Lantor Mansion 5 bedroom, 1485. Oh, uh, for Lantor Modern 4 bed is cut everything, it's 1444. Four. Yeah. So it's similar. Okay, my take for the 5. Okay, I think uh, the 5 can buy. Okay, why? Uh, why? Uh, now I come into why. Uh. Uh, firstly, if you want to buy the 5 and you need a 5, this is only 5 in this area. Okay, but if it Stay as a 5 is not easy to sell Because the living room will become 3 meter apart only Lantau Hill 4 bedroom is 3.5 meter For the uh, living For the living area So your 5 bedroom 3 meter So when, cannot. So when you enter the 3 bedroom in Lantau Hill versus the, uh, the five four bedroom, bedroom 4 bedroom in Lantau Hill Versus the 5 bedroom in Lantau Mansions You literally cannot find the difference lah uh, I feel still feel Lantau Hill is bigger. No, no, I can feel the difference because in the show flat they took area. this whole thing out. Right. Ah, uh, so that's why I say if you want to buy five, you have to sell as a four in future. That's a that's an alternative. Ah, uh, but now you need the five for the the space. And the key thing is developer quite smart uh. This whole piece uh, they leave it for only piece that you can hack on. Ah, uh, so literally this one I think is. Squeeze out a 5 for you lah. But actually this is not a 5 layout uh, But you, re you really need a 5 now You need somewhere that you have 5 bedroom But you don't need a big, big living room You can use this first But you want to sell I think it's good that you hack down the bedroom To make it into a big 4 uh, And it's the, one of the biggest 4 in this whole region yeah, and Having, having said that actually mm. If you were to remove the bedroom right I mean if mm. you were to remove the wall Between the, the living and the bedroom right uh. You will notice that actually it's just literally a Mirror image of Langtor Modern uh, Yes uh, uh, Very 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 similar Very similar But one key difference Why is the key difference That I just now share with you all You see uh, this part is the same uh? Same uh? But one thing hands down win one This one come in uh, This got glass panel I always say glass panel very good Every video I tell you about glass panel but now I changed my mind because uh, now got new type of building. They cut the whole kitchen inside. This whole place is yours. This is going to be a huge area. 
that you are going to win Lantong Modern. This is why they can put such a long sitter table what, for Lantong Mansion. I mean, yes, uh, but, but they can. They are smart, they push in the kitchen. Uh. So that's, that's why a lot of people say Lantong Mansion uh, very small uh, kitchen. I think with a very big living room, it's a plus plus point. But frankly, mm. if you are really catering to the more modern family, right, mm. I think kitchen size, um, as so long as it's like okay size, I don't think that will be a very... Uh, I would say la, so that, that's why this five I think is definitely okay la. now the last thing the effect of harmonization. harmonization so what is the effect of harmonization um, effect we are talking about uh, how is it going to affect you when you sell because now we can't see it um, it's going to be three years later when you collect your keys mm. when you're trying to sell a property what are the right. key challenges that you face la, huh? uh, and, and, and what are the solutions to that so what are the key challenges you think there is uh, in the market when we are selling joint I think one of the most uh, prominent one mm. will be the size la, because based on what we are seeing, the smaller two bedroom we have mm. here is in Lantor Mansions. Mm. So the moment I saw like a 500 square feet kind of two bedroom, I don't think I would want to view it mm. because it's the equivalent to the one bedroom in the other projects, mm. right? So what um, you're writing or what Alex is writing down right now is basically all the different sizes of the two bedroom that we have shared earlier. Like for example, Langtor Mansion, which is at 527 uh, square feet, then we got Langtoria or Langtor Modern at 678 square feet. Followed by Hewlock Green. So Langtor Mansion, Langtor Modern, and Hewlock Green. I'm only taking these three because uh, I'm taking only the two plus, plus one, one mm. toilet. Uh. So the size is all stated here. These are all two plus one toilet. Okay, so Lantor Modern is six seven eight square feet. Hewlock Green is six five seven. Lantor Mansion is six five eight five two seven. These are all stated on papers, uh, which means that is with the aircon latch. Okay, these two are with aircon latch. So uh, in buyers' eyes, when they go to the internet portals, uh, they only see what this one size. Ah, so mm. in their Maya, uh, Lantor Mansion is very small. Straightforward. They wouldn't go through all the, the things that we are going through uh, because no one will ever know which project is harmonized, which project is not Correct. harmonized. Yeah. Uh, so in future, let's say all are selling 1.6 million. Which one will you view, Joy? Will you even consider to call this? Of course I will not because I think other than the size, right, mm. I will also look at the PSF. For PSF or Langtor mentions, right, can I say that you'll be one of the highest? Also? You'll be one of the highest and you'll yeah. also be thinking, this one, sure, the agent blocking one, this one is not too, too bedroom, this is a one plus study. study agent who has uh, they just put the two bedroom. In our mind, we might be thinking on this mm. because we do not know. Ma. So this is what happened in uh, back in 2013, 14, that range. Mm. Uh, there's two pro projects, one called Caspian, one called Lakefront. Mm. Okay, these two projects, what is the different? One is with Bay Window, Bay Window. and the other one is without. Uh, so if we were to take a three-bedder comparison, right, back then mm. um, Caspian was the one with bay window. Mm. A three-bedroom there is about 1,200 plus square feet, yes, right? Yes, about 1,206 lah. Oh. Mm. And then for the lake front, um, the three-bedroom there is about 1,000, 1,001 one, one, if one, I recall one, correctly. Yeah. yeah. So given the same three-bedroom, I think it's the same situation that um, the last time the seller was so faced because one is a bigger three and the other one is a smaller three but both on the same portal, price on the uh, newspaper it's, that time is still era of newspaper mm. so it's like smaller newspaper okay. newspaper we go newspaper and find property okay. yeah. so, so, so 1001 and this one looks uh, leg front in short look very expensive but actually, uh, Caspian got a lot of space that is non-usable. It's, it's partially usable because it's bay window. You can sit mm. there, you can put your things there. I yeah. mean, all these things still can. But in terms of uh, being able to, to really utilize it, it's not so usable. But the, that the, is even better than now. Like, because that time still can use it. Eh. Now it is totally big. cannot use it. Eh. Mm. Now we are taking out the space that it totally cannot use one, which is the aircon ledge. Mm. Uh, so... Uh, but what I'm trying to say here is that there's challenge when we are selling that time to mm. prove that it this take, is a good buy. It will take some time for people to be actually be used to it. Uh, in a way, mm. la, to, to, to also understand what is the harmonization thing. Mm. Uh, okay. So, uh, 
what is the solution to, to, to this when you buy a harmonization project and you want to sell in future? How do you sell it? Hmm. It's not like a, a very tough thing. Basically, hmm. how we have shared you know, about the two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom analysis earlier, sharing with your uh, self or whatever you have done homework based on that. You need, to, you need to put the floor plan side by side to see actually where did the additional space go and the actual living space without the aircon latch, how much is it? Mm. You can also digitalize it. Basically, put two floor plans just side by side and then, you know, overlap yeah. each other. So it's more of doing uh, digital marketing, video marketing. Um, uh, even some EDM to show people that these are the same size because of the built-in area to send to all mm. the potential buyers or to market this as a product that is more on the social media rather than on all the internet portals. One of the main key thing is what? Is collection of all the data. So like what we have shown you just now, bedroom size, what size, what size, what size, uh, all these things we are already starting to collect if we saw any harmonization project in the surrounding. So when we collect all these, next time if any of our clients want to sell, Lentor mentioned, we have Lentor Hill, Lentor uh, Modern, uh, Hewlock Green, Lentoria sizes to compare. Mm. Let, let's say got another client who bought uh, maybe Tembusu, the second plot which is harmonized. We will start collecting Tembusu grand room size to show that this one is good. So now what we are doing uh, as agents, uh, I mean I don't know all agents but for us we are collecting all this data so that in order for us to help our clients to market their property better For we have, future use uh, Future use, we have all these things to show all the potential buyer that they are not being shortchanged Because all these data are not easy to find Okay, so uh, these are solutions to be able to help you with what we have done But we will be doing a more professional type of video in that sense But uh, uh, most important, I hope today's video has helped all of you to understand why harmonization in terms in more of a layman term, in, in more of a very uh, logical way, uh, and it can help you make a better decision buying any property and do more research when you are buying. If you do not know and you have any problem and questions that you want to understand, how do you actually buy a property itself and and due to all these new harmonization ruling there's so many rulings that's coming so how do i buy what do i buy what are the things that i want to take note uh, do reach out to either one of us either me or joy we will be uploading this video in our youtube individual channel but uh, you just reach out to us and if you need help in terms of marketing of your unit uh, in future for all this type of listing just you can also drop reach us out a to message us. Yep. We, uh, if not then we will end off today's video we will see you soon for the next analysis video thank you thank you bye bye